developing a search strategy. It seems obvious, but work out what you need to know. You will have a general plan in mind, but often a sense of direction might not come until you start your planning and develop your confidence. Identifying the correct search terms and phrases for your search strategy is essential. A search strategy is a grand way of saying how and what you will search. With searching, what you put in affects the value and relevance of what you get out. It's tempting just to dive in and see what you'll find, but you'll probably come away either drowning in information or frustrated by finding nothing. Being too general or too specific will yield bad results. This is mostly aimed at searching for journal literature and information on the internet, where the volume and the complexity of the material means you must be more so focused in your searching. The seven steps to plan your search helps break down the process into smaller steps. We will cover steps one to four in this video. Steps five to seven are covered in videos searching for e-journals. So let's pick a sample question. What measures are effective in supporting SEND children at points of transition? If there's something in your question or assignment title you don't understand, check your module guide, read your lecture notes and ask for clarification. Here are some aspects we might want to consider. So we might want to look at teacher training as one of the effective measures. We might want to consider the parental role in transition or the supporting materials given. Maybe we want to search for strategies or best practice in this area. We also need to consider the scope. What transition? Is it from primary to secondary? Or from reception to primary? Or from one year to another? And is there a specific send we want to look at more closely? And is there a flip side or a consequence to a negative transition? There might be literature on this too. Once you've identified some key concepts, you'll need to identify alternative search terms in order to find a good range of information. This is step three. Not all researchers describe the topic in the same way as you or I. You will need to use the right vocabulary to locate relevant materials. So we think of alternatives to increase our chances. Benefits, impact, positive outcome, best practice are all ways of saying something similar. We have taken the type of measure, teacher training, and thought of teacher support also. Transition is a well-known term, but we could also describe it as moving years or moving schools. When we were looking at scope, we were considering which level of schooling. So for secondary school, we might also say high school or secondary education, or year six to year seven, or use key stages. Different articles will describe their transition differently, so it's worth trying a few alternatives. Different articles will also use different language to describe children. Could use child, pupil or student. Finally, alternatives to SEND, in full or use the acronym. And whether there's a specific SEND that you're exploring for the question. SEND is the broad term, but autism is a narrower, more specific term. If you struggle to think of any alternatives, you might want to use a thesaurus, which links words together according to similarity of meaning. And that will enable you to browse alternative terms and use broader or narrower search terms. You might also need to think about spelling, particularly Americanisms. Behaviour is a key one within education. Also, the vocabulary that you use can influence your results. Journal literature and library search is international in scope. So elementary school is American and we use primary school in the UK. However, there can be confusion with college because this is the equivalent of university in the UK and we use college more in the context of further education. So the vocabulary you use or exclude can help filter the results and keep them UK centric or international in scope, depending on what your searching needs are. So once you have a range of search terms, how you combine these search terms will also have an effect on the results retrieved. This is step four. Here are some examples. I've taken some of the search terms from the previous slide and combined these together using and, or, and not. I've also used phrase searching and truncation where appropriate. 
If you want to know more about these, there's a video you can watch or it's summarised on our library help sheet. You do not need to use all of the features in every search you do, just the ones where you think it would help. So taking the middle example child with the star, this is truncation, it will also cover child and children. We also want to find secondary school and we've made this into a phrase so the words are together in that order and we've also added dis transition and dyslexia. This is quite a complicated search and until we try this we don't know if it will bring good results back. We're asking for quite a few elements to be present so whatever the results are we have been quite specific. You cannot always cover the entire assignment or question in a single search. Sometimes you have to break down an assignment into parts and do several smaller searches to cover particular areas and gather the evidence. You also will not find the perfect search strategy straight away. You adapt it, swap alternatives in and out, toggle phrase searching on and off. It will all affect how the results are displayed to you and which articles are deemed more relevant and so appear higher up your results list. Certain vocabulary will be used more by researchers and you will have more success with certain searches. It seems like there's a lot to think about, but take it one step at a time. The library search hints and tips summarises all the search functions you can use. Hopefully, taking the time to think about the assignment question, unpick what you need to know, and then thinking about how and where you will look for information will give you a greater chance of success in finding good quality, relevant literature. It will save you time in the long run and the dreaded millions of irrelevant results. If you have any questions or you would like more help, you can use our library chat facility, email us or engage with us on social media. Thanks for watching.